Brewers hosting the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays are minus 112 on the money line. The Brewers are minus 104. The over-under is eight and a half runs. The Blue Jays laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 146, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Brewers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 176, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. They haven't played each other since pretty much last time this year. Uh, this time last year. Wow, that came out completely wrong. Neither of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team. Weather will not be a factor because of the dome in Milwaukee. Head to head, they're five and five against each other. The road team is six and four. The favorite is six and four on the money line. However, the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is six and four. There have been three one run games in their last ten. The under is hit in their last two. The under is five, four, and one, and the over under at eight and a half runs is five and five. And the stats are based off of what the lines close at. Because for whatever the reason is, they don't give you what the lines opened at. So if one team opens up as a favorite and closes up as an underdog, you have to, you know, keep an eye on that. For the Blue Jays, I don't know why they haven't confirmed that Berrios is pitching on this thing yet, but uh, we'll see. Six innings pitched, uh, 4.6 strikeouts, 18.7 outs, 4.8 hits, 1.9 earned runs, 4.8 hits, uh, 0.8 home runs, 91.6 pitches per game, and 15.2 pitches per inning. The Blue Jays have won his last two starts, and that's over his last 10 starts on the season. For the Brewers, with Ray on the mound, because they have actually confirmed him, they're 3-2 and two in his last five starts. The over is hit in his last four starts, and the over is 4-0-1 and one in those starts. Five innings pitched, six hits, 2.6 earned runs, 4.4 strikeouts, 1.8 walks, 0.6 home runs. He's given up a home run in his last three starts. 88.4 pitches and 16.9 pitches per inning. So if we get the matchup that we expect, this should be a great pitcher's duel. Okay. The Blue Jays are 6-4 and four in their last 10, 4-1 and one in their last 5. 11 runs, 3 runs, 7 runs, and then 10 runs. 6 runs in a win, 1 run in a loss, 7 runs in a win, and then 6 runs in a win again. The Blue Jays are just like this unpredictable team, or at least for me, when I bet them, they lose, and when I bet against them, they win. Thankfully, I haven't done that in a while. The Brewers are 2-2 two and two in that last 4. 2 runs, 10 runs, 9 runs, 12 runs. Shut out in a loss, 10 runs in a win, 5 runs in a win, 2 runs in a loss today. They just got their asses kicked, but... I, lo I loved the Tigers today with Scooble on the mound. I'm going to take the Blue Jays with the money line. I will take the uh, Brewers getting the runs, and I'm going to go under. I say that, you know, hopefully these guys pitch a magnificent game and the bullpen doesn't screw it up too bad. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.